It's a musical love affair that began nearly a decade ago. The pipe organ, not an obvious choice for a devoted piano-playing teen in Toronto. But Rachel Mann was awed by its power and its complexity. The organ offers such a wide range of um, dynamics and, and sounds that you, it's like a big toy. You can do so much with it. After lots of lessons, a music degree and time at Toronto churches, she landed a position at a cathedral in southwest England. But to borrow an organ term, she's pulled out all the stops, aimed even higher. It's paid off. It's a little bit surreal, like you, can, you almost can't believe it. And it takes a long time to sink in. The next step in a musical journey that's taken her from Toronto here to Truro really is a giant leap to a London landmark where at just 24, she's about to make history. In September, Mann is headed to St. Paul's Cathedral in central London to become the first woman to ever hold an organ scholar's position in its 400-year history. Its three-century-old grand organ, considered one of the finest of its kind, has been the soundtrack to so many moments in British memory. The great thing about an organ like this is the sheer variety of sound that you have. Um, it really is like a an orchestra. Back on a more modest organ from man's past, the professor who helped her hone her skills sees a very bright future for his former student. Well, I think she plays so well that the, uh, the, the uh, profession is going to beat a pathway to her door. And while St. Paul's calls her playing superbly poised and elegant, at its core lies a passion that only appears to be growing with each new achievement. Ben O'Hara Burns, CTV News, Truro, England.